All right, man. Uh, let me make sure I'm actually rolling. Tell me who you are. Tell me a little bit of what you do for Maverick. And tell me what you're gonna be doing on the 22nd. So my name is Jesse James Lawson. Uh, I am the recon reconditioning manager here at Maverick Car Company. We have a nice big race on the 22nd here at Meridian Speedway. So looking forward to that. So my name's Rich Wilson. I am the service manager at Maverick Car Company. On the 22nd of May, I'm going to be racing for $5,000 cash in the uh, Legends race at Meridian Speedway. I think I'm just about ready. Here at work, Rich is my supervisor. I've known Rich for quite a number of years now. We actually came from the same racing community in Southern California, so I know him through that. Uh, Jesse's a very, very clean uh, racer. He's also very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Aggressive, uh, all around great race car driver. This is only gonna be my second race ever in the Legend of Car Division. Uh, I was asked to drive one last season uh, at a different track. They were trying to build the car count, so I offered to uh, get in that car. Uh, I was also racing in the Speed Tour Modified Series that night. So I pulled double duty and I had a lot of fun with it. So I decided to get one and there was this big race this year. So I decided to enter this race. I'm not sure I have quite what it takes yet to show uh, Jesse how it's done. Uh, I haven't been in a race car for several years. I'm gonna give it all I got. So I started at 23 years old. Dad raced before I was born. He raced for many years. Always heard stories of him racing, you know. He always had the interest in it, always liked to go fast. got to a point, you know, financially where we owned our own business and uh, we had the means to finally go do it. I started in a street stock and uh, worked my way up to late models, modifieds. I'm out here playing with this legend car, you know, for fun. So race day is just race day. That's literally all it is. When you get to the racetrack, you want your car to be ready to go. You want your car to be set up. You know, tires are where you want them feels full and to win races it's done in the garage so countless hours you know set up so yeah it's a lot of work so last year COVID was huge uh, it pushed our season back and then it ended up that our track decided to run all the races anyways so we were at the track almost every single weekend through the entire summer, but I did it enough that I needed to take a break. So this season, I decided to take the season off, minus the one race I'll be in the uh, Legend car. And then uh, next year, I'll go back at it full, you know, full season. That's what he's got. Being at the racetrack is kind of like extended family. Everybody works together. We all have the same interests. That's something to look forward to when we come to the track. Then we got the competition side of it. I like to be very competitive. Uh, I do give it my all when I'm out there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much, Absolutely. pretty much why I like coming to the racetrack. So I took five years off of racing and uh, been racing all together about 12 years. When I was 11 years old, I started watching NASCAR and uh, it took me until I was age 33 to be able to finally purchase my first race car. Uh, Jesse uh, really uh, helped uh, make this happen for me. He, he pushed me back into racing. Uh, it helps that I sit next to him every day and uh, so we banter back and forth all day long. A lot of trash talking going on. You know, uh, I, I hope the fastest guy wins. Hopefully it's me. Uh, my biggest concern for the race is just my lack of track time here at Meridian Speedway. Uh, I've literally ran about 40 laps tonight, and that was my first time on the track. I'm hoping, hoping that it tightens up and maybe we'll tighten up the car a little bit, but it felt, felt really cool. So yeah, my, uh, my son's getting into racing. Uh, he started when he was 11. He's 14 now, and uh, he started racing outlaw carts. And um, 
we're actually building him one of these same cars right now. Uh, he should be out here for the June 4th race. I think like anything, I, I'll get nervous right up until I put my helmet on. Um, once the helmet goes on and the face shield goes shut, it's game time. And uh, may the best guy win. Um, I'm gonna put it all on the line. What's the first thing you are gonna say to Rich Monday morning after you <laughs> take home the purse? I'm glad you were out there to fill the car count. <laughs> What's the first thing you're going to say to Jesse on Monday morning after you win the $5,000 purse? Dude, did you have as much fun as I did? Rain delay action here in the concrete jungle. There are some pretty good sized drops on the racetrack. It was awesome earlier. Uh, the sun was out and the track was dry. Uh, it's gotten a little wet now, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this stuff blows out of here. The tower, the tower, bottom boot, okay. bottom boot, transponder. We're like whoever's standing over there, just okay. find somebody. Somebody. It's Idaho. It'll rain, and then we'll go racing. It's fine. I've actually learned a lot today. A lot of stuff actually on my side behind the wheel, which is going to help me tremendously for the race tonight. So I don't really get too nervous. So. I think I'm good there and uh, go out there and have some fun and hope for a good finish. the race end for you? There was an incident in front of me that gathered about seven cars and with no room to go anywhere on the track I ended up getting involved. It was very minor but it did poke a little hole in the radiator which took me out of the race so you know everything was going pretty well. Um, we ended up qualifying ninth. I started outside front row at, with the inverts when we were to 10. I had a plan of how I was going to get a good start and actually try to take the lead on the start and with the gear change, when we were rolling through three and four, I hit my rev limiter so fast that I missed my shift. And so by the time I got it into gear, I was pretty much even pace with them, but I didn't get that advantage that I was looking for. We did have a caution, we did have another restart. Again, there was a lot of fast cars, so hanging on the outside there, you know, I slowly worked my way back into position. So takeaway from the weekend, I'll say I actually learned a whole bunch on my own driving behind the wheel for these cars. Obviously, Rich and I are both new to this class. And so looking forward to the next race, I feel I have a strong chance of doing better than myself. I was not able to finish the race. Um, unfortunately, we sustained pretty heavy damage to the right front of the car. I did try to put a new tire on and try and straighten a couple things out, but it just wasn't uh, safe. So race day went down uh, pretty good. Um, showed up in the morning, unloaded. Uh, car was pretty fast. I didn't qualify the best. I, I qualified 19th. Gonna bide my time and try to outlast some of the carnage. Unfortunately, I got caught up in the middle of the carnage right in the middle of the race. Yeah, so looking back, um, I would definitely um, have um, got prepared a little bit more early with a little bit more practice time. Looking forward though, I, I had a great time. It felt awesome to be back in a race car. It felt great to be out with a lot of my friends again at the racetrack. Uh, overall, it was a good experience. Um, I would do it again. Probably have driven a little bit more defensively, but that's racing, you know? Stuff happens and uh, fortunately stuff happened to me. It also happened to a lot of other people. It was a pretty rough race. Guys were there uh, for the money. Well, Rich, thank you very much for letting me film. Thank uh, you. I'm stoked for the next time we can go out and do something like that. Me so. too. Awesome. Jesse, thank you very much for coming down and like letting me get off in your business and film stuff, man. This thank will you. turn out real cool. Thank you. Cool, cool.